Tip number 17. For complex boards, always build minimum 3, but rather 5 prototypes. When uh, I was starting with hardware design, we used to build 2 prototypes. And uh, 2 prototypes is not enough. Or it may be enough if you are building a very simple board, then you can build 1 or 2 prototypes, it's fine. But uh, if your board has a couple of uh, hundreds of components, you really may want to build at least three prototypes, but I highly recommend minimum five prototypes. Why? What do you think? Why? Couple of reasons. One of the main reasons is that when you receive these five prototypes from assembly house, Usually around two of these boards will have problems. Or it depends. Yeah? <laughs> if there is something wrong with the schematic or something generically wrong with the with the layout or with the circuit, then all of them will have problem. But if the circuit is fine, if the layout is fine, uh, just uh, from the assembling process, usually Two of these boards will, uh, okay, they may not fail completely, but they may have some small problems, like something is not working correctly. It's because, uh, don't forget, these are very first prototypes, so you do not have any test procedure. And uh, again, from my experience, when uh, an assembly house, if they don't have test procedure, the failure rate is quite high because they cannot test it. Yeah. They can do some visual check, but usually that's not enough. The second reason why I like to have uh, more boards is uh, if during testing uh, something wrong happened and uh, you damage one of the boards, you still will have four boards. It's still enough for testing. Or what the I found very useful, and this happened to me a couple of times. Again, it is connected with the uh, assembling the boards. When uh, I started testing the boards, yeah, I received the board, I pick one of the boards, and I started testing this board. There was something uh, unusual. Yeah, the board behavior was uh, something what I was not expecting. So I spent a couple of hours trying to figure out what's wrong. And then I just uh, took a different board, I ran the same test, and everything was working fine. So if you have uh, more boards, you can compare behavior between these boards. It's very useful, it can save you a lot of time. So if something is not working on one of the boards, pick up different one and try same thing on different one and see if it, if it has exactly the same behavior. And... Uh, yeah, these are three probably most uh, most important thing about uh, or most important reason why I prefer at least five prototypes. Sometimes we build ten prototypes. Usually, bigger companies they may want to build uh, at least ten prototypes because uh, you know when you receive the boards, uh, you may want to give some of the boards to the software guys so they can start developing software. You may want to give uh, maybe one of the boards to the sales because they would like to show the board to the customers. And you may want to still keep enough boards for the testing. Yeah. So for bigger companies, 10 prototypes is fine. For smaller companies, 5. Uh, even smaller companies, they can go for 10 prototypes, but there is because these are very first prototypes, there is quite high chance that something may be wrong. And don't forget, building these very first prototypes, complex board prototypes, it can cost, uh, I don't know, 500 or $1,000 per board. So if you are building five prototypes, it can cost $5,000. If you are building 10 prototypes, it can cost $10,000. And if there is something wrong on the board, yeah, ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ten thousand dollars is gone. So 
So as I said, uh, usually in our company, we build five prototypes. In bigger companies where I used to work, we used to build 10 prototypes. I don't think we build more. Maybe once we built uh, 20 prototypes, but, but I think it was only because uh, the board was not completely new. Most of the board, it was taken from different projects. Now don't forget tip number 17. For complex boards, always build minimum three, but rather five prototypes. Why? Many times there may be something wrong from assembling process or you may damage some boards during testing. <laughs>